Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. For years and years, I have told you there's no better place to buy a boat than from these folks at Highway 411 North in Madisonville. They have thrived on people coming from all over East Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, North Georgia, Western North Carolina, and they've thrived on repeat business. Find out for yourself why. Why do so many people go there and keep going back there for their second boat or their third boat? Madisonville Marine, customer service, great selection, great prices. There's no better place to buy a boat. All right, this is a quick segment. It's kind of our halfway point of the show. Uh, each week we tend to look at the next uh, opponent with Chuck, but first we let Josh Ward do a little scoreboard watching. And uh, Josh, the question today is where are the sure wins on Tennessee's SEC schedule? Well, the board's right here, John, so <laughs> I'm sure you can easily find them. Um, I have some good news and some bad news with the rest of the schedule. The bad news is... Tennessee will play better teams than it saw against Florida on Saturday night. The good news is some of those opponents will be in Knoxville, not away, and they all have questions as well. So you see the scores from week three in the SEC. It's been a weird first three weeks in the conference. I'll go quickly through the next three opponents. South Carolina is up next in the SEC. It's in two weeks, and it challenged Georgia in the first half. It was not a match for four quarters. South Carolina has good quarterback play when he's protected, but they've had protection issues, and their best – Wide receiver Juice Wells is dealing with an injury. Texas A&M. The Aggies have beaten up on two weak opponents and gave up 48 points in week two to Miami. The Aggies have a ton of talent. Loaded roster. The game will be in Knoxville with Tennessee having two weeks to get ready. Then there's Alabama. Alabama might have the best roster in the country outside quarterback. But quarterback matters, and the Tide have played three guys already at the position. They scored 17 points against USF. So if you look through the rest of the seven games that Tennessee will play in the SEC, you're looking for a sure win, John. I will say Vandy. Vandy losing to UNLV, getting beaten up by Wake Forest. I think that's a sure win for Tennessee. I don't know that there's a sure loss. Georgia, Bama, they'll be tough, but sure losses? I don't know that. Georgia is still trying to figure some things out. But Missouri, Kentucky, South Carolina at home, I can't say that's a sure win either. So I'll say one sure win on the schedule right now, that's Vanderbilt. All right, very good, Josh. Thank you very much. That is a change in viewpoint of the, over yeah, three weeks really. ago. <laughs> Chuck, uh, you've already set the line. You've got it ready to go. We'll right. unveil it later, and people at home, you can play against it. By the way, the poll is still up. Get involved there. We've got, a lot of, we've got five people on the website right now are doing it with their smartphone clicking. 57% of you say uh, last night didn't change your view of Hypel. It was one game. 23% said maybe a little. 20% said absolutely it did. The smallest group of the ones that said last night changed their opinion of Josh Heupel. That's interesting. That surprises me. Uh, we've got a reasonable, uh, well-educated <laughs> audience. Chuck, um, about the line that you've already set, what did you take into consideration about UTSA, Texas San Antonio? Well, I mean, they're, kind of, they're off to a disappointing start. They're, they're one and two. We've got a graphic yeah, up here. They, they lost to Army Friday night. Their key player is Frank Harris, who's really an interesting uh, study. He's a seventh-year player. He's a quarterback. He's a left-handed. He's already had four knee surgeries. He's thought about quitting twice. So he was in a walking boot on Friday night. I would say his status is very doubtful, and it's a freshman behind him. All right, very good. So they lost to Army uh, in one and two. And then from a Tennessee perspective, what are you looking at? Well, goodness gracious, uh, a lot of people were thinking Cooper Mays was going to play at Florida. He went through pregame warm-ups, correct? I mean, to me, that's, that's a huge loss. And how much longer is he going to be out? And then we also have to look at that end-of-the-game situation, John. Yeah. That pregame scuffle, the fight, are there going to be any suspensions that come out of that? We're going to have to wait and see what the SEC says. Yeah, I think when the SEC takes a look at the tape, you're going to be looking specifically as Amari Thomas cleared to play, uh, Omar Norman, Norman Lott, is he cleared to play? Exactly. Uh, that timeout could prove very costly. All right, uh, Chuck, very good. When we come back, is Tennessee's defense better than it was a year ago? After the Virginia game, we were singing their praises. Oh, they're faster. Look at the tackling. Wow. <laughs> did that tell us more about Virginia than it did Tennessee? Is the defense better? That's next on the Sports Source. Come on back. <laughs> 